like that, whatever else they want to say as a sales pitch, none of this has any substance and none of this has anything to do with what's really going on. Uh, Germany is being systematically degraded and subjugated by the owners and controllers of global financialized capital. Now, I've been talking about this for quite some time. I was talking about this since at least the start of the war in Ukraine, if not before. Germany, uh, Germany's leaders, who are nothing but collaborators uh, with the owners and controllers of global financialized capital, and who act on the promise of benefit. They're hoping that uh, they will be remembered and rewarded by the owners and controllers of global financialized capital, that they'll be rewarded for uh, cooperating with the sabotage of their country. Now, these leaders have placed their country, have placed Germany, placed their economy uh, into a trap that tightens the more you struggle until it finally chokes you to death. None of the reasons that these leaders have presented to their public uh, as justification for why uh, they're doing this to Germany, none of these reasons have any substance. Whether it's uh, because they say it's necessary, uh, a necessary sacrifice to weaken Russia, or uh, a necessary sacrifice for the sake of the environment and to you know, combat climate change or anything like that, whatever else they want to say as a sales pitch, None of this has any substance and none of this has anything to do with what's really going on and with why this is happening. They say that they want to stop their dependence on Russia uh, for energy, but they've closed all of their nuclear power plants and they've just shifted their energy dependence to more expensive sources like the U.S. They say that they want to uh, avoid or to eliminate carbon emissions and to promote green energy, but they are importing. Uh, the dirtiest form of energy that there is, coal, to compensate for the shortages that they themselves are causing for themselves. And of course, these shortages and these increases in energy costs are wreaking catastrophic consequences on businesses in Germany, on the cost of living and the quality of life, and they're suffocating the economy. Manufacturing has been plummeting in Germany month on month for uh, over a year now. Bankruptcies are skyrocketing. Business closures, especially for small and medium-sized businesses, are hitting record numbers. They are importing coal from Colombia, where miners are treated like animals, as disposable human beings, getting sick, getting injured, dying for the sake of Germany, or rather, for the sake of the uh, owners and controllers of global financialized capital and their profiteering from the sabotage of Germany, from the subjugation of Germany. All this talk about the environment, all this talk about climate change, that's particularly hyperbolic in Germany, that only exists uh, for the purposes of justifying this program of destabilization, this program of deindustrialization, this program of subjugation. Once that program has been uh, implemented and enforced to a sufficient degree, you won't need those justifications anymore and they'll go away and they'll come up with something else. They want to degrade Germany. They want to deindustrialize Germany. They want to humiliate Germany. And they're trying to see just how much the German people are willing to bear it. In my opinion, uh, the ideal optimal outcome uh, of this experiment in humiliation for the uh, owners and controllers of global financialized capital would be for the far right uh, to come to power in Germany and for Germany to exit the EU and to uh, resume their ties with Russia. Then they'll be able to treat Germany as an open enemy with uh, aggressive hostility. So just watch. You're going to see more of that. The media is helping to direct the whole trajectory of this project. And this private sector power structure uh, is not loyal to any nation. The owners and controllers of global financialized capital are their own nation. And only the national interests of this nation matter. It's a floating empire, unfixed to any geographic borders. And they view everyone as disposable serfs and slaves, whether they live in the global north or in the global south. And they will happily cannibalize their own populations without the slightest hesitation, and that's what they're doing. You know, in some parts of Europe, in the old days, they used to actually throw old people off cliffs if they became too feeble, if they became too weak uh, to contribute. They would throw them off of a cliff if they felt that they had become a burden or that they had become obsolete in some way. Well, that's essentially what they're doing now. They're throwing you off a cliff. Workers, small businesses, the lower class, the middle class, they're throwing you off a cliff because you have no function for them anymore. 
I'm telling you there's cultural and civilizational continuity in what's happening. There's continuity in this brutal disregard uh, for what are deemed by them to be uh, superfluous populations.